Hi guys, welcome back to Chariot Palmistry. This video is going to be a little bit different to the ones we normally make. This is going to be on ancient knowledge and wisdom specifically. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at ancient Egypt and looking at religious comparisons between the two of them. This is the Papyrus of Hunafa. It dates to around about 1500 BCE, so before the Common Era, and I think it shows Vishnu in it. First, let's look at Vishnu's iconography. The first thing to notice about him is he has blue skin and he has four arms. Now, Vishnu is the preserver god, so he's the guy that keeps the universe going in between Brahma creating it and Shiva destroying it on the other hand. Hence, he's the preserver. He sits on top of the cosmic snake called Adi, Ananta or Sheshnag, depending on what phase of the cosmic cycle we're in. Out of his navel grows a lotus flower and sitting on that lotus flower is the creator god Brahma. Now Brahma has four heads and each head points in a different direction because he's the guy that creates the world. Next to him is his wife Lakshmi and she has four hands. Now you can't see that in this picture but if you look at most pictures of Lakshmi or look at statues of her in temples, she's got four hands. Two of them give wealth and the other two give blessings. And all of this is happening on top of the celestial ocean. Now let's have a look at Egypt. This is the god Osiris. He's the guy that rules the afterlife or the underworld so to speak. Now Osiris is the Greek translation of his name. His actual name in Egyptian is Osha. And if you're thinking Osha sounds a lot like Ishwara, which is the name for Vishnu, then you'd be right. There. Behind Osha sits his two wives. The first is Isis and the other is Nephthys. On top of their heads are the crowns of Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt as well. So amongst other things, these wives also give wealth. Coming from underneath his crown is a lotus flower, and on top of that lotus flower are four gods, each god representing a different direction. All of this of course takes place on top of the celestial ocean, and on top of all of this is the cosmic serpent, or the Egyptian equivalent of the cosmic serpent. Now nearby is Horus. Horus is Osiris' son, and he's sort of like a solar hawk god. If you look at Vishnu's iconography, particularly in South India, he's associated with Garuda, who's like a big giant bird, hawk, eagle type figure. Now in this picture in particular, you'll notice Vishnu with two of his wives. That's more prominent in South India. Sometimes he's associated with two different forms of Lakshmi. Sometimes it's Lakshmi and Saraswati become his partners. But just as Osiris has two wives, Vishnu also has two wives, or collectively they make up four hands. So that's my take on Vishnu here, particularly in Egypt. I wrote a book on this a couple of years ago called The Evolution of Religion. And I've got a link to that in the description below. So if you're interested in learning more about this, then check that out. Otherwise, leave your comments. I actually had a discussion with a professor about this a couple of years ago. He was a history professor and he just couldn't fathom the idea that Indian religion and ancient Egyptian religion would have communicated with each other or even that they have so many similarities. If you think there's similarities here, leave a comment in the section below. Thank you.